Welcome to Wikipedia World. We're going to discuss about plant physiology. First, let's define what is plant physiology. It is a subdiscipline of botany concerned with the functioning or physiology of a plant. Closely related fields include plant morphology, this is the structure of plants, plant ecology, this is the interaction with the environment, phytochemistry, it includes the biochemistry of plants, cell biology, genetics, biophysics, and molecular biology. Fundamental processes such as phot photosynthesis, respiration, plant nutrition, plant hormone functions, tropism, nastic movement, photoperiodism, photomorphogenesis, cycardian rhythms, environmental stress physiology, seed germination, dormancy, and stomata functions and transpirations, both parts of plants, water relations are studied by plant physiologists. What is the aim of a plant physiology? The first priority or aim of this field includes the study of all the internal activities of plants, those chemical and physical processes associated with life as they occur in plants. This includes study of many levels of scale of size and time, and the smallest scale are molecular interactions of photosynthesis and internal diffusion of water, minerals, and nutrients. At the largest scale are the processes of plant development, seasonality, dormancy, and reproductive control. Major sub Disciplines of plant physiology include phytochemistry, this is the study of biochemistry of plants, and phytopathology, this is the study of disease in plants. The scope of plant physiology as a discipline may be different, different or divided into several major areas of research. The first we have the phytochemistry. This is the plant chemistry which is included within the domain of plant physiology. To function and survive, plants produce a wide array of chemical compounds not found in other organisms. Photosynthesis requires a large array of pigments, enzymes, and other compounds to function. Because they cannot move, Plants must also defend themselves chemically from herbivores, pathogens, and competition from other plants. They do this by producing toxins and foul tasting or smelling chemicals and other compounds defend plants against disease, permit survival during drought, and prepare plants for dormancy while other compounds are used to attract pollinators or herbivores to spread ripe seeds. Next, we have the study of biological and chemical processes, which is also included in plant physiology. Plant cells have a number of features that distinguish them from cells of animals, and which lead to major differences in the way that plant life behaves and responds differently from animal life. For example, plant cells have a cell wall which resists or restricts the shape of plant cells and thereby limits the flexibility and mobility of plants. Plant cells also contain chlorophyll, a chemical compound that interacts with light, in a way that enables plants to manufacture their own nutrients rather than consuming other living things as animals do. Next, 
physiology in terms of plants, we have includes the deals in interaction between cells, tissues, and organs within a plant. Different cells and tissues are physically and chemically specialized to perform different functions. Roots and rhizoids function to anchor plant and acquire mineral in the soil. Leaves catch light in order to manufacture nutrients. For both of these organs to remain living, minerals that the root acquire must be transported to the leaves and the nutrients manufactured in the leaves must be transported to the roots. Plants have developed a number of ways to achieve this transport, such as vascular tissue and the functioning of the various modes of transport is studied by plant physiologists. Next, included in plant physiology, we have the study the way that plant controls or regulate internal functions, like animals, Plants produce chemicals called hormones which are produced in one part of the plant to signal cells in another part of the plant to respond. Many flowering plants bloom at the appropriate time because of light-sensitive compounds that respond to the length of the night. A phenomenon known as photoperiodism, the ripening of fruits, and loss of leaves in the winter are controlled in part by production of the gas ethyl by the plant. The next part of plant physiology, we have the environmental physiology. In the response to environmental conditions and their variation, also known as environmental physiology, Stress from water loss changes in air chemistry or crowding by other plants can lead to changes in the way a plant functions. These changes may be affected by genetic, chemical, and physical factors. So as a summary, we have five included fields for plant physiology. We have the phytochemistry, cellular interactions, molecular and cell biology, plant morphology, and last, we have the environmental interactions. So thank you for listening to Pedia World.